Hey everybody, welcome to podcast number six, part A. Today, we're going to be changing our plans. Uh, I'm, I'm taking too long sculpting out the shins and the shoe, but <clears throat> our friend Ithaca Dave has his high boost ready. So we thought it would be a great opportunity to show you how to make a mold of the Hayabusa helmet. It's going to be just like that, how to make a mold of that ODST helmet, except for this time we're going to try to use some music that doesn't get pulled by WMG. Pay close attention, and we'll show you how the mold is made. All right, guys, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making a silicone mold on this part of the podcast. We've divided the Hayabusa helmet right now up into two sections, a front and a back. We're going to be molding today with Dragon Skin from Smooth On. Dragon Skin is a, uh, it's a platinum cure silicone, which means it's going to last a long time. And the reason they call it Dragon Skin is because it's really stretchy. So it allows us to get into all these grooves without making a really complex uh, five or six piece mold. We're just going to do it with a two piece and then we'll worry about the shell when we get to it. So, Dave, tell me about this Hayabusa helmet. I actually got it from one of the members on the forum. Uh, he was selling it, uh, made a good offer on it, so we ended up buying it. I uh, needed a little bit of work, not much. He had done a lot of it. Uh, primarily just a little bit of sanding on my behalf and uh, a touch up with a few spots, a little bit of strengthening. Um, cutting a little bit, you know, the visor uh, and the painting, of course, but, uh, yeah. Alright, explain what all this clay on the helmet is for. Alright, all this clay right here is to create dams. We have uh, two different dam walls, no pun intended. Um, we have one here and one here. This is going to show us the uh, how far, how much of a thickness we want our silicone to be and how high we want it to be. Also, with uh, recommended by Adam was, was building these keys and these keys are going to help the silicone and the shells uh, fit together along with the two different shells fitting together. I'm going to have to say that last line again. <laughs> Thank you. What's up? <laughs> yes. He comes over to my house and interrupts my podcast with the wife. It's Dave for you, I guess. I keyed, I keyed. Yes, can you call me back in a little bit? We're in, we're like recording right now. Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs> wife Zilla. Hey kid, if you guys don't have the support of your wife or your girlfriends or your boyfriend, then there's no way you're going to be able to get into this hobby. So make sure that they're on your side. Don't be mean to them. Yes. Uh, as Dave was saying, uh, we've built up this dividing wall and we've made it out of clay. This divides right along the top of the ridge so that we don't get any deep undercuts. Uh, we don't want undercuts because if we do have them, the silicone is not going to come off the mold once we create our casting. It's going to ruin it. So we've got the dividing wall to make it easy for the front half of the silicone mold to come off. After we make the front half of the mold, we're going to take the clay off and do the back half of the silicone mold. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to get started putting some dragon skin on this. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is mix up some of the silicone. We've got two of these buckets, and the reason we have two is to make sure that it's mixed properly. We're going to mix in the first bucket, stir it up, pour it into the second bucket, stir it up some more to make sure it's completely mixed. Now dragon skin is pretty easy to work with. It has a one to one mix ratio, so just Mix it in equal volumes and you've got it. This is uh, Dragon Skin, this is part B. This is Sparta! <laughs> okay, that was part A. Onward. All right guys, first thing you're gonna wanna know when you get your smooth on containers is how to open them. You can't do it like that. There's these little ridges right here on the side of the bucket. They're there for a reason. What you can do is take a chisel or a flathead screwdriver and just open these things up. All the way around in a circle. Once you got them all, ah, much easier to open up. 
Okay, same thing. Cut open the little slits and pry off Sparta. Okay, make sure you have your paintbrushes. Make sure you have your mixing buckets. Make sure you have your paint sticks. And then we're gonna get going. Dave's getting ready to mix this stuff. It's important for you guys to know that the first layer that's going on this is going to be the print layer, which means it's gonna be really runny, really thin silicone, so don't mix a whole lot, because if you do, it's just gonna run right off of it onto the ground anyway. So, small amount at first. You see this right here? No go. That was my line I was shooting for. But like a typical man, I overshoot. One question to smooth on. Why can't you make easier pour buckets? Something that's a little narrower or an attachment or something. I don't know. It's really hard to pour these things sometimes. Slowly. And what I'm doing now is I'm stirring thoroughly. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm reading the, the spec sheet, the technical specifications of Dragon Skin. Okay, so Dave purchased Dragon Skin. Uh, the other option is Dragon Skin Q, which is quick setting. So our pot life is 20 minutes. So we're gonna stir for at least 10, <laughs> just to make sure. So you're wondering what the second bucket's for. We're gonna take our mixture from the first bucket and pour it in our second bucket to make sure that it's mixed properly. We're churning the butter here. We're stirring up the snot. Okay, we're gonna start painting some dragon skin. I think we'll put a happy little tree over here. He's just living by himself. Watching the nose. It's your world, do what you want. Maybe, maybe he has a little friend over here. Who lives on the nose. Well, how we're going is, uh, you can see it's as runny as a kid's nose. Remember that expression before, haven't you? This guy right here. Uh, but you just gotta keep dabbing. Try not to waste it as much as I am. Uh, it helps to have three arms, I only got two. What I'm doing is I'm playing Space Invaders. No, not so much. What I'm doing is catching as much of the drips as possible so we're not wasting the silicone. It's kind of like having children. You let them run a little bit, then you gotta go run and chase them, grab them by the wrist, take them back, spank them on the butt, and same process over and over again. Okay, um, we've got the first batch of dragon skin on the mold. We're going to wait a little bit until it's a little tacky but not quite as wet. So if it doesn't stick to my finger, we're gonna, we're gonna put on this second batch after that. And we'll show you how that works in about a half an hour. And now, a word about shop safety. Hi Dave, looks like you're mixing up some plastic, but aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> yes, your hand protection. You need some vinyl gloves. And let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh good, you found your gloves and it looks like you're making an assault rifle. <laughs> Oops, not on your good shoes. You know you've got to wear old shoes and old clothes when working with plastic. What would the missus say? Now it's time to start dremeling. Ho oh, ho, not so fast, Dave. Aren't you forgetting something? That's right. Eye protection and a respirator. <laughs> That's a double whammy. Now you're ready to work. You've got your eye protection, your lung protection, and your hand protection. Now you can survive fiberglassing, spray painting, and chilly Thursdays. So remember, safety first. Okay guys, because of the length of this project, we're breaking up podcast number six into part A and part B. We're probably gonna have a part C. So podcast six will continue. Next time, stay tuned.